What's up guys and welcome to a how-to. <laughs> um, so for this how-to, you're going to need uh, a bunch of L brackets. Obviously a drill with a probably a, a number two bit. I'm pretty sure that's what this fits. A bunch of screws and two by fours. We've got an eight foot and we have two four foot by four by two by fours. And then a four by four. This is what we've got so far. We're winging this. Hey Jeff. What up? <laughs> we're winging this. But what we're building is a, what is it called? Sim rig. A sim rig. So you can use like your steering wheel, your hydro brake, and your gear shifter. And this is basically what it's gonna come down to. So this is a chair out of a Miata. And you put the two four foots there and you kind of measure everything out. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut six inches out of this for the legs to bring this chair up because I think that's where we want to be because that's how high this chair is. It's about a foot off the ground. And then we're going to put the legs in and then bolt the chair onto that and then go from there because then you have to build things up here to put the steering wheel on and all that but we'll get to that part. Yeah, they get to miss the whole three hour conversation of what the hell do we do? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we'll be back in a second. <laughs> So when you get your cuts made, those little four things there, you're gonna use these as your base. So you can set this up, pick the chair up obviously, put these under it, set the chair back down, see where you're at. All right, we've quit. <laughs> <laughs> so this is where we're at so far. Um, we've got the legs on, we've got all the measurements out right. Pretty close to what his sim, he's got a legit like $600 sim. And it's very, very, very close to what his is, the measurement wise. Besides your uh, ski legs, pizza in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, when, so, how we measured it is that was going to fit between there. But when we got the seat here, we didn't realize that the rails come in. So, which makes no sense. Yeah, which makes no sense. So, when it went in, it pushed, it pushed these two boards in where the screw points that we have to use so that's going to sit on that you know your uh, thick plywood back there you can do a plate yeah yeah definitely so um, it's coming along we'll be finished with it and then we'll paint it and then it'll look super good but the plan is just to give you kind of an idea this will be there and then steering wheel will sit on a bar that goes across here and then the hydro will be on there and then the shifters we're going to build a bracket for the shifter to come out here but yeah so far so good it's really hot in here <laughs> yeah. so yeah. I'm trying to think just the e-brake and the shifter is the only things we it's still in the air yep. you talk about it yeah, I talked about it. Okay. We're good. Uh, so, oh, what would be cool is to do slots in the uh, slots in that plate, so you could just unscrew it and move it, and then tighten the Allen keys again instead of doing just holes like slot it. Yeah, you get what I'm saying? I think so. Like in your plate for the feet. Yeah, you know how you do four holes, so just slot it to one. To like oh yeah, I know what you're talking about, so you can adjust yeah. it. Yeah, 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 I got you. Because you're gonna have a modular seat since it's still got the rails. Yep. I don't know how to make your steering wheel going up and down though, unless <laughs> you made um, taller, taller tees, yeah. taller ones, and like did shelves. So you can just like go down. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think about that. I don't think anyone else is gonna be driving. <laughs> yeah. Unless Kenzie does. <laughs> So yeah, this is where we're at so far. This is day one. We and, get the uh, flame stickers on the way. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we'll jump back on this tomorrow. Cat! Psst. Wait, I gotta, yeah. come, I gotta come again tomorrow. You want to? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Going to Lowe's tomorrow to get smaller screws, smaller wood screws. You got this. You got your wallet this time. And then 
Do I need another? Gonna need another one of those, right? Yeah, because we're gonna cut off like four inches of that. Okay. So, so you'd have. We didn't measure it. I don't know what it is. So, thirty-one probably cut down to twenty-six. So. I don't know what you can grab. I don't know. Sometimes Lowe's has scraps in the back. We'll check it out. I think that's it. Oh, we'll, you know, we'll, film, we'll film all of that too. So like when you guys go to build a sim, if you ever build a sim, y'all know how to do it. I think we need to do a brace in the middle. Like, like in the middle of that? Like from oh yeah, here. definitely. Yeah. I already thought about it. The only right. thing we don't so, have? What? Monitor stand. <laughs> well, I, just getting, I, was, I know that's getting crazy. Yeah, that, that would be. So I was thinking to get a like a big TV, and like if I was going to do this, I was going to put it on a different computer. Oh, I was going to say just put it over there. And, yeah. I mean, find a yeah, wall stud. Yeah, put a put a TV on the wall and then yeah. have this there, and I wouldn't have to move it all the yeah. time. I live in a trailer, so I got like one and a half inch studs. <laughs> it's not going to work. But this is the ending of day one. This will be like one long video, so day two tomorrow peace welcome back to the sim build that's josh and i'm sean <laughs> all right um so this is what we got so far we put the brackets on these little stands here so it's really sturdy we can pull the seat on and off now uh, now we're going to go get some washers we bought another four by four which is this and it's like eight foot long and we got it super cheap because it was the damaged part at lowe's it was damaged piece of wood so that's super cool so half off bro what half off bro half off yeah literally it was like 14 bucks so i got this we're gonna lay it across here we're gonna even it up of course and put brackets on it to hold it and that's gonna hold this thing in place basically we're gonna get some washers so we can bolt that seat down and then we'll be ready to build the walls coming off the or the these pieces coming up so we can put the thing put the steering wheel and stuff on it. And then we can go from there and then we can build the thing for the seat or the pedals here. So they won't move. So let's go outside. Woo! She's a little bowed. This is why we got it so cheap. It's like a $30 piece of 4x4 and it was only 14 bucks. He wrote it in pencil which I thought was weird. We totally could have changed that to $2. <laughs> We did. <laughs> so, just for reference, if you want cheap wood for projects like this, go to Lowe's, go to the back where they store the wood, and ask a guy like, hey man, my friend told me that y'all sell bad wood here, like damaged wood. Then they'll take you back there and they'll find you a piece of damaged wood that you could totally use for projects like this. And 10 foot fits in a 6 foot bed. Barely. Just barely. Sketchily. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of How to Do It. Wrong! <laughs> if, you're, if you're out here sawing wood and cutting and stuff, don't do it outside at night. <laughs> Idiots! In your head! I feel like that's pretty good. Yeah, let's do some measuring. I already did. I mean, not measuring. <laughs> let's do some cutting. Let's do some measuring, then some measuring. We're <laughs> just gonna keep measuring. People on YouTube are gonna think I'm an idiot. Oh, now? Now they are? <laughs> yeah, there we go. Let's cut it again. You, could, you should, uh, after every cut, a swap. Like after oh, every yeah. just, whoosh, doo -loo, doo -loo. <laughs> just edit it in. <laughs> there we go. This one's been sitting out in the rain for ten years, so it's pretty easy to cut. Wait, do you have it in a time lapse? No. Oh, you, so here's everything. You're just gonna let them just oh, yeah. ride this out. We're Amish. <laughs> we couldn't afford the twenty dollar tool, so we bought the thirteen dollar hands off. <laughs> no, we could afford the tool. We couldn't afford batteries. <laughs> I'm on prepaid electricity here. 
wasn't in the budget. <laughs> Did we hit the line? I think so. <laughs> or we just rubbed it off. <laughs> Friction, baby. <laughs> you don't know that reference, do you? <laughs> Use the dark line. I got the shakiest hands in the world. I got the wrong person doing this. Alright, hang on, let's move this back. I feel like you're gonna chop my <laughs> ass cheeks off. <laughs> Turn it into a flatbed. <laughs> I wonder I, I don't get any views. <laughs> what do you mean? We just came up with a new thing, bro. Dump trucks, flatbeds. Dude, girl, you got a flatbed over here. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine the pot. <laughs> like, no, bro, it goes up and down. What do you mean? <laughs> no, I'm talking about twerk. <laughs> <laughs> We're so stupid. <laughs> you got insurance, girl. <laughs> the dimensions but we will put that up at the end of the video of everything you might need um, I know those two are 19 and this is a 4x4 four four, and as you, as you can see I've got like a little play because they're growing on the ends it's like 32 inches yeah it? I think it's 32 inches and these long pieces are four foot and then those were six inches right yep these four four by four pieces were six and that lifted me up we just wanted our butt to be a foot off the ground. Yeah, so we're really, we're not exactly a foot off the ground, but we're very, very close. And, because it was about the same as that chair, which was what I was playing in first. So. Then our goal is to hit 20, 21 inches. Yeah. So we put 19. Yeah, so. We're 21 going, and a half, sorry. So 19, of the, 19 inches on those, you cut them. And then you put them on the end that stands them up. And then we got this long piece here that we're going to cut. And we've got it marked. But it's going to tee across. And that's where the steering wheel is going to go. And then we're going to brace it with other, um, you know, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to take four, uh, two by fours and brace it so it doesn't move or rock when I pull, when I yank the hydro. So, yeah. Let's screw all this in and get started. All right, this is kind of like the final product. Josh is giving you like a visual here sitting in it. We still got one piece to go across the top to, so we can put the steering wheels on, but these are sturdy. We use these little L brackets here, and you, I just <laughs> got two screws recommend. in. Yeah, <laughs> we're not ready to really, really, really flimsy to get something a little stronger. Maybe angle iron, that would probably work better, drill some holes in it. But yeah, we just use the L brackets from Lowe's, put them everywhere. And then, especially the four by fours. But I mean, like it's pretty sturdy. I'm moving around. <laughs> yeah, I but, won't push our luck. But. <laughs> I gotta anchor it down a little more because I still just got one screw in most of these brackets on the back. So still gotta anchor it down a little more, but it's coming together pretty strong. So we gotta cut this piece, and then we'll be done. But dude, no center bar. That's what I have a center bar, so I can't, I, you know, like I can't do this motion a whole lot. I oh, I forgot. Break. Yours has like like a T or whatever. Yeah, it's got a big thing that comes out. I got the PlayStation Evolution. Blah, blah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we gotta fix that. We got one more to cut, and then we'll mount everything up. All right, this is the final product. We're gonna clean up the mess over here, but um, this is it. Uh, just a budget. This literally costed uh, with everything. It was around forty to fifty bucks or so. Uh, I already had the seat. I pulled it from the Miata. But yeah, this is it. Basically, this is like legit all you'll need to do a sim rig until you, you know, buy one. So uh, this is just like your little budget build type of deal. If you have two by fours and stuff, you're gonna save some money. If you already have screws, you're gonna save some money. I bought 
two brand new boxes of screws so those were ten dollars a piece so if you have screws laying around like wood screws or whatever you're going to save some money like at least 20 bucks or so so theoretically you're going to spend about 30 bucks in wood to get this so i don't have all the wires tied up tied up they're just hanging um i literally just got this together not even long ago so I'll move those here in a second, but I just want to give you guys an idea what it, how to, you know, what it's like to use one. I'm driving a, I can't remember what I'm driving, I think it's 46. Control, you've got clutch control, you got your e brake. This comes separate, you have to buy this separate. But the G920 comes with the gear shifter, the wheel, and the clutch and pedals and stuff like that. a set of Corsa there's like a million different mods you can do it's super awesome um, there's force feedback so like if your suspension's off your wheel's gonna be turned and um, um, it counter steers you know because the force feedback it'll counter steer for you or not for you but like say it, it it goes you can control it but whenever the wheel moves it the wheel itself moves it's like real life type of I don't know how to explain it but the force feedback is really really awesome out of gas. <laughs> if you get in the grass it you'll slide out. It's just super cool. I, I really do love it. Um, I wasn't too big into this before all this but it's it's just super cool. And you can do other things besides drift. This is just what I bought it for. But you can do other things than drift. You can do grip racing, drag racing, and stuff like that. It's just drifting super fun because you get the counter steer 
and it just it just goes ham. You get the e-brake. <laughs> It's just super cool. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to start going live and doing these kind of races. I think that would be super fun. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to build a car. I think that would be super cool. So, I'm going to build a car on here and get in. I'm trying to get into drifting as much as possible. Uh, it's just like a really good sport that I like and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed it I will see you guys later peace